automatic rain sensing wiper. We have seen automatic rain sensing wiper system in luxury cars where windshield wiper automatically gets activated when there is a rain or if there is some water on the windshield. Electronic wiper is a very common device that is attached in every car to wipe the water on the windshield during the rain. Generally it is manually operated and we need to switch them on and off manually. In this project, we are going to build an automatic rain sensing car wiper system using triple five timer IC, 4017 decade counter IC and L293D motor driver IC. This circuit automatically detects the rainfall and activates the wiper to clear the windscreen. These are the components which are needed in this project. Triple 5 Timer IC, CT4017, Decade Counter IC, L293D, Motor Driver IC, 8 Pin IC Base, 2, 16 Pin IC Base, 50 Kilo Ohm, Variable Resistor, 2, 1 Kilo Ohm Resistors, 10 Kilo Ohm Resistor, 1 Red LED, 100 Microfarad Capacitor, 100 Nanofarad Capacitor, DC Motor, Rain Sensing Plate, 9 Volt Battery, PP3 Battery Connector, On Off, Rocker Switch, 1 Zero PCB, 4 Screw With Nuts, and 4 Plastic Spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in a stable mode. So at the output of triple 5 timer IC, we will get continuous high and low pulses. This is CD4017, decade counter IC. This IC has 16 pins. It has 10 output pins, 1 clock pin, supply, ground, and reset pin. CLK, or clock pin, is connected with the output pin of triple 5 timer IC. Initially, CD4017 IC will give a high output at its pin number 3 and a low output at pin number 2 and 4. When first pulse from triple 5 IC arrives, then decade counter IC gives a high output at pin number 2 and a low output at pin number 3 and 4. When second pulse from triple 5 IC arrives, then decade counter IC gives a high output at pin number 4 and a low output at pin number 2 and 3. Pin number 4 is connected with a reset pin of IC. Reset pulse will reset the IC, and IC will start giving output. From pin number 3, same process will go on, for the infinite time, and IC will keep giving high and low output, at its pin number 2 and 3 alternatively. The timing of output pulses, can be adjusted, by adjusting this variable resistor. L293D is a motor driver IC, which has 2H bridge inside it. It can control two DC motors. This is the pin diagram of L293D. VCC and ground pins are connected to the positive and negative terminal of the power supply. Enable 1, input 1 and input 2 are used to control the motor's direction. These pins can be connected to any controlling circuit. Output pins are connected to the motor. When enable one pin will get a high signal, then it will enable the output of IC, and motor can now rotate according to the input signal. When we give a high signal to enable one pin, high signal to input one pin, and low signal to input two pin, then motor rotates clockwise. And when we give low signal at input one, and high signal at input two, then motor rotates anti-clockwise. When enable pin is low, then motor stops rotating. When there is no rain, then enable one pin will connect with the ground supply through this 10 kilo ohm resistor. When raindrop will fall on the rain sensing plate, then this plate will connect the enable one pin with the positive power supply and motor will start rotating. Motor will not rotate in any one direction. 
it will keep changing its direction of rotation after a second, because L293D motor driver IC, is getting alternate signal at its input pins. These components will be used, to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker, to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer, to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter, to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch, inside the hole. Now we will solder, the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor, will protect the LED, from high voltage and current. Now we will solder, the power indication LED, on the PCB. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder the 16 pin IC base on the PCB. Connect pin number 8 and 16, of IC base for L293D, with positive power supply. Short pin number 4, 5, 12, and 13, with each other, and connect it with a ground power supply. Short pin number 8 of IC base, with pin number 4. Connect pin number 8, of IC base, with positive supply voltage. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base, with the ground terminal. Connect pin number 2 of IC base for L293D, with pin number 2 of IC base for CD4017. Connect pin number 7 of IC base for L293D, with pin number 3 of IC base for CD4017. Connect pin number 16, of IC base for CD4017, with positive power supply. Connect pin number 3 of 555 timer IC, with pin number 14 of CD4017. Connect pin number 15 of CD4017, with its pin number 4. Short pin number 8, 12, and 13, with each other and connect it with a ground power supply. Now connect 10 kilo ohm resistor, between pin number 1, and ground supply of ICL293D. Now connect the rain sensing plate, 
between pin number 1 and positive supply of ICL293D. Now connect the DC motor between pin number 3 and 6 of ICL293D. Now connect this variable resistor with triple 5 timer IC. Now we will solder the 100 microfarad capacitor. Short pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 2. Now connect the 100 nano fared capacitor between pin number 16 and 8. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now plug the IC on the IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.erltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.